Wow, I was not expecting this sweatshirt to be as loud as it is, but whatever. Alrighty guys, so we are going to be talking about my plans for spring, my TBR, the content I have planned, all of the good stuff. Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and today we're going to be going over my spring planning. As you can see, we're talking spring, well, spring TBR in like broad sense, if that makes sense. We're going to be going through my content, what I have planned, what I'm thinking about, my like for sure videos, my iffy videos. We're going to talk it all. And this is the first time I'm actually doing a video like this because I don't necessarily have a TBR planned, but I know what I'm doing and I have videos planned, but I don't know necessarily when I'm going to film what, but I know it's going to come this spring, if that makes sense. So we're going to be talking about that stuff. And then the first thing I wanted to bring to you guys with spring comes a change in how I'm going to do my wrap ups. So I'm still going to be doing a wrap up and on haul video. So they're going to be combined. I'm going to be wrapping up and doing it on haul because as I am doing my wrap up, I'm going to get rid of the books that I don't necessarily want on my shelves because we are just overflowing here. And it's just not good. We have a lot of books on the floor and like a lot of books that don't have places. So like I said, if I don't love it, it's getting on hold. So we're still doing that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mid month wrap up and then an end of month wrap up. Because being honest, filming wrap up videos with a lot of books in them takes so much time and a lot of editing. And I feel like I would just do better with mid month and end of month because then I feel like I would talk more about the books with you guys and give you a better overall synopsis and what I felt because I feel like sometimes when I just do the end of month wrap up I feel like the books in the beginning of the month don't get nearly as much time and you don't get my you get my true thoughts but you don't get my in-depth thoughts because sometimes I forget a little bit because I am reading a good, I'm not reading that many books a month, but I am reading a good amount to the point where sometimes when I go back, I look at the book and I'm like, wow, this felt like I read this forever ago. So I want to give you guys a bit more with those wrap ups and I feel like it would be easier to do with mid month and end of month. Now I do have to say that I don't, I don't read that many books a month. So well, I do to some people and don't to other people. It just kind of depends where you look at it. But the mid month and end of month, I will probably only have like five or six books per wrap up. But I feel like again, that will just be better because I will give you guys a better synopsis, better thoughts and feelings on it because that much time hasn't like passed since reading them, if that makes sense. So that is something I am going to be bringing to you come spring. So starting in March, that's what we're going to do. And then as far as TBR, I do have some content plans. Now one video I'm going to be doing and I believe this one's going to come out in early March because I have a lot of these books checked out from the library and this is going to be my manga video for springtime. I'll probably maybe I'll do a couple more but I don't want my channel to be overwhelmed with manga and manhwa so it's going to be 24 manga and manhwa in 24 hours. So I recently saw Gabby Reads do this. I believe Gavin Reads It All did this as well. I know he also did a 30 manga in 30 days. For mine, I'm going to do, like I said, 24 manga in 24 hours. But I'm going to do the timer method. You guys know I have kids, so it's hard for me to get a 24 hour period where I can just constantly read. So I'm going to be doing the timer method. This is probably going to be a harder video for me to film since I will be stopping and starting so often. But I do want to see how many manga I can read in 24 hours. I do want to see if I can hit that 24 mark because I do think it is going to be a bit challenging for me. So we will see. I have so many different manga options. I honestly had on my shelves 24 manga that I could have used. I will be doing a wheel that chooses what manga I read when. So I won't be choosing it myself. I will spin a wheel. It will tell me which manga title to read. So I did have 24 already on my TBR shelf. It's not necessarily on the shelf. It's on the ground. That's why I'm like pointing over in this direction. So I will be doing that. The 24, I do have 24 in the box on the floor here. 
but I did want to give myself other options as well so I did go to the library and pick up some more manga and manhua so that is going to be one video I do plan on doing in the month of March do not worry if you are not a manga or manhua fan this will be I, I don't want to say only video for spring because it probably won't be the only video that these are included in in the spring I'll probably do another manga or graphic novel reading vlog in the future as well for the spring I don't know but that is certainly planned for March. That is what I'm doing in March. That's what I want to do. It's what I have on my list. So definitely look out for that one. Another vlog I have planned for March is my indie published reading vlog. As you guys know, one of my goals for 2024 was to read more indie published books because I think there are so many hidden gems out there. So what I've been doing, I didn't do it in January. I started in February. February was a indie published romance reading vlog. I will link that down below if you have missed it and want to go check it out feel free in March my plan is to do an indie published cozy mystery reading vlog and I do have some books chosen I only have two I need to pick out a few more but one I know I'll be getting to in this video is one I actually picked up at the thrift store this is Aloha Alibi by Jasmine Webb. It is part of the Charlotte Gibson Mysteries. So this one I know for certain will be in there. Another one that I know for certain will be in there is one by Rosie A. Point and that is Murder Over Easy. I will put a picture of that one right over here. And I'm looking for a few more to put in this reading vlog. I think I might do a Tanya Caps. I'm not quite sure. I was looking at her different cozy mystery series. If you have an indie published cozy mystery author or cozy mystery series you want me to check out, make sure to leave that down below because I still do need to pick a few more books for this reading vlog. But that is the indie published reading vlog I do plan to do in March. Now moving on to April and May, I don't have my indie published reading vlogs planned out yet. I do have to plan those out. I'm thinking one might be an indie published fantasy reading vlog. We'll see. We will see. And then I don't know where I'm going to go from there. I will have to see about that. I don't plan too too far in advance because I am quite a mood reader to be honest and I don't like to plan too far in advance. So that is what we have as far as the indie published reading vlogs. Again, Cozy Mysteries in March, April I'm thinking fantasy, and then from there we'll see where I go with it. So those are those reading vlogs. And then another idea I have is reading controversial books. And what I mean by this is reading books people either seem to love or absolutely do not like, hate the book. So my thoughts for this one, I need ideas for this one too guys. So my thoughts for this one were Bunny by Mona Wad. I feel like people either absolutely love this book because that's the point of the reading vlog. People either absolutely love this book or people absolutely hated this book and were confused the entire time. So that was one of the books I was thinking of. I was thinking of throwing a dark romance in there like um, Haunting Adeline or Birthday Girl or something along those lines because I feel like dark romance is always kind of controversial. And then another book is Nothing But Black and Teeth, I think it's called. That's a horror book. And I've had friends recommend me this book, but I've also heard people do not like this book at all. So that is why that one's on there too. And if you guys have any other recommendations for books I could read for that reading vlog, let me know down below. And I also was thinking about doing books I've already read that are controversial in, again, the way that people either absolutely love them or absolutely do not like them. Because like I said, if you've watched a lot of my videos recently, I've had so many unpopular opinions as far as loving or not liking a book and where I am on the spectrum compared to other people. So I'm thinking about that as well or like even a my unpopular opinion reading vlog and the books that I'm thinking for this one as far as like controversial might be like Fourth Wing and Assistant to the Villain and A Fragile Enchantment, A Study in Drowning. I have quite a few there but those are like two ideas I've had running through my head reading vlog of controversial books people either really love them or really hate them and we would see obviously me reading them and where I land on the spectrum and then books 
I have an unpopular opinion about or controversial books I've already read and my opinions on them. So those are also ideas. I constantly have things running through my head and I try to jot them down as I go. Sometimes I like completely miss the mark of writing them down before they just completely leave my head. I was also thinking of doing a reading vlog starting cozy mystery series and then ranking them in the order of which I would like to continue them and like which ones I like the most, which ones I didn't really prefer. So that's always an option. I feel like I have so many different ideas and it's always kind of so overwhelming to see my ideas. I also kind of wanted to do that with fantasy books. I did a video late in the year. I think it was December 24 series I want to start in 2024 because I have so many first books in series as far as fantasy goes that I was going to get first books in series and then read them. So like a first book in series and then read them, rank them, and then do I want to continue series? Do I not want to continue the series? I've also thought about, I know I'm throwing a lot of ideas out here, but these are like reading vlogs that could happen in the spring. And I told you I was going to bring you ideas and, you know, bring you along with my planning. And all of these are written down. I just don't know which ones I'm going to get to in the spring. If I don't get to them now, I will get to them later. And I do already have summer ideas, which is just crazy to me. Anyway, getting back to it the fantasy series, reading the fantasy series, the first book in the series, and ranking them which ones. I loved which ones I didn't prefer, which ones I can see myself, you know, continuing, which ones I will not continue or unhaul. So that is something I thought about doing as well. I also have so many dark romance books that I have yet to get to. So I was thinking about doing a dark romance reading vlog. There's a lot of different options I have here. And again, they are all written down and I don't have enough time in the spring to do all of these. So whatever, again, I don't do, I will just push over into the summer and fall. And it's crazy to even think that, it, to even think we're going into the spring is kind of crazy to me. But anyway, those are kind of my ideas for the spring so far. So again, let me know if you have any recommendations for my indie published cozy mystery reading vlog that you would want me to check out and see and, you know, possibly read in that reading vlog. Again, if you have any ideas for the controversial books reading vlog, but that is kind of what you could expect to see here in the spring. Of course, you guys will always be getting my monthly book hauls. I am going to try to keep them to monthly because I am trying to not buy as many books. We shall see how I do this year. You guys know I plan to read a lot off of my shelves this year and I'm doing a pretty good job so far. I am kind of really shocking myself. So those are my plans so far. Again, they are always changing and evolving and I always get different ideas. So I'm excited to see where we go with them. I also, something I also really want to do this is just me thinking guys this is like I'm I'm going off on a whim here I have no like planned way of talking this is just me and that's why like if I go in circles or I backtrack often it is what it is but I wanted to do a video Dave does not know this yet we kind of talked about it a little bit before but I want to give him books I've read and have him just tell us based on the cover and the title what he thinks the book is about and give us like a general synopsis of what he thinks. I saw Larissa from Larry Reads do this and I think it'd be really fun and sometimes he's like out there with what he thinks a book may be about if I just show him like a title and a cover so I would love to do that. I'd also, you guys know he loves buying books for me. He often surprises me with books. I'd love to strictly do a reading vlog of us going to Barnes together and me recording him pick out the books for me, why he's picking them out, what's making him pick these out, and me reading them. So I would have him pick out three or four books and then me read them, but also showing you guys the process of why he's picking out the books he does because I'm also super curious to see what he's thinking when he picks out books for me because he does come home and surprise me with books often as you guys know and I am always just so curious to see kind of what's going through his mind as he's picking out books for me. So that is another one that I would absolutely love to do. Another thought I had but I don't know about this one. So if you saw my 
book haul for February. I did get a manga and me and Dave had talked about reading a manga where we can also watch the anime together. So I did pick up a manga and that one was One Piece. So I was also thinking we we're going to read this together. So getting my perspective on it and then also getting his perspective on it when he reads it and like doing a, you know, reading vlog with him just to see what we both think of that but I don't know we'll see I also kind of want to just try to get him into reading a regular novel too and reading one together and maybe we'll do like a reading vlog where we're reading the same book I don't know I want to include him on more in this channel because he does support me reading so much and you guys have stated like oh he has to be the best like he's picking you up books and like you guys hear about him often but you don't see him very much so I'd love to get him on the channel here just a bit more. So those are some options for me too to think about but as you can tell I just constantly have things going through my head of ideas and videos to make. Now I have so many more ideas than I have time so that is my issue but like I said whenever I don't get done in the spring here can be moved to summer or the fall but those are some of my ideas. Those are some of the plans I have. I know I didn't give you very many books for what I plan on actually reading because as you can tell my plans are kind of like up in the air but I do have kind of solid ideas of what I want to see as far as like content planning and things of that nature. So it does give you guys some kind of idea. Not definite reads but you know you know where I'm going with what's coming. So there is that. So I wanted to kind of just give you guys an update as to what to expect in the spring. So again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any recommendations for any of the things that I said in this video. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. As always guys, I truly appreciate each and every single one of you. It means the world to me that you are here and we are able to share this community together. So if you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up and if you want to stick around for more bookish related video if any of these ideas sound intriguing to you make sure to hit that subscribe button I would absolutely love to have you again I appreciate you guys so so much and I will see you guys soon